What is this so, shit? So yeah, people people posted Oh, I seen this clip. I'm not playing this shit. <laughs> I seen the clip. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh this is not a good look for you. <laughs> I seen this shit, bro. I seen this is not a good look. I I I didn't agree with what she said. <laughs> so like the gist of this clip, the gist of this clip, so the go woke. The go woke, go broke people have got a lot of ammo. <laughs> the gist of what she said in this video is, uh, I don't, I'm in a, I'm in a position of power. I'm not hiring any white. Is she straight up said I'm not hiring no white people? I'm like, why would you say that, bro? Why? You're just giving people this ammo. Even if that's how you genuinely feel, don't say it. Like. <laughs> I was like, so she got them crazy eyes. It's like, not like this. I was like, I seen that clip. I seen this. I was like, ah, it's like, I can't co sign that one, Shardy. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Yeah, she gave zero fucks. I'm like, this is the type of shit that's going to make it so more people of color can't get positions of power. Um, yeah, they're going to get it for dis for discrimination, basically. Like, that's literally what it is, bro. Let me see. I'll play it. This. I never actually watched this. I have a team of 21 right now uh, for Validate. It's a pretty big team. It's a crazy big team for indie games. Mm -hmm. But who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly people, mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. Uh -huh. um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be mm -hmm. safe is to be- I'm not gonna lie, she does come across like she's a little off. And like, I hate stuff like this too, because not only is I don't agree with it and she's wrong, like I said, it just gives these niggas ammo, bro. These niggas who sit in their room all day in the dark, the white man is being oppressed. For like every one of her, there's a million they can't do or say this type of shit. Like people don't agree with this shit as a whole. Yeah, they be waiting and it just gives them ammo. I'm like, oh my God, go woke, go broke, get the blacks out of here. <laughs> just like me. Um, I know some people who agree with that. Yeah, I, 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 know, I know some people who, yeah. <laughs> Um, and I'm not saying that as if other people of color aren't racist to are creating yeah. unsafe environment. But I'm not saying that. That is not what I'm saying. I am saying that sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they think that something may be okay, but it was really a microaggression. And no one wants to deal with His that. His race clues are You know, the algorithm so happens love. to work in their favor. Isn't this like basic? Yeah, it's because the, the algorithm works in their favor because it's like rage bait content. And people, that's like the emotion that's easy to tap into. This is equivalent of the red pill deals finding out the gold. <laughs> she, had the, she made the rest of us look bad in this video. I was like, oh boy, I seen that shit. I was like, I don't know about that one. You, you do not speak for everybody on that. You speak for yourself. Uh, she has to have her spot locked for her to be saying stuff like that. That or like there are people who really just don't understand how powerful the Internet is. They she might have just said it in like a private Zoom call and somebody recorded it, uploaded it. Like, I don't know where that shit is from, um, but she probably didn't think it went viral. But like, I guarantee you her jobs in in um, in uh, fucking what's the shit in, in trouble. You said um, they found a boycott. LOL. Oh, yeah. We're not buying any more of those EA games with the blacks on them uh what was he talking about yeah so they bought this i mean hopefully this is good news hopefully this means we do get the kotor remake now the game sales are going to be uh yeah they started whole like steam groups listing any game that was uh consulted by sweet baby inc and then i think esg so they're tracking any type of game um and, uh, you see it gets roasted for his gameplay nah i don't really care about that shit uh what else we got oh that's the same shit nah. Uh, if you guys love Elden Ring, you can buy a replica of the big ass sword. Uh, bit a bit a bit a bit a bit of. Chill, y'all gotta chill. If you want that big ass sword, you can get it for like four hundred and fifty dollars. If you really love Elden Ring, I didn't get to it. Who a cosplayer in here? Are we gonna get an NBA Live? I wish, bro. It's so hard for NBA Live to come back because the 2K community, it's crazy. The 2K community is so detrimental to themselves. They complain about the game, but then they won't try anything new. Even at my, I'm, I'm, I'm at a, I'm at a point where like, even if a new NBA Live comes out and it's not that great, just give, const give constructive feedback 
so that they can make it better. But the issue that I feel like what NBA Live has is they don't know what direction to take it in. And then they're also not getting good feedback because most people just dismiss the shit. That shit trash. I ain't never playing that stuff. And I'm like, these be the same people that say you hate 2K. Which one is it? Do you want competition or not? Like I said, if they're playing 2K after reading them terms, for the follow. it's just crazy. Now let me get back to stalking. I mean, following Maria. It's a vicious cycle, man. It's a vicious cycle. A cycle that I wish would stop. I gave up on sports games. Who plays NHL? I feel like I never met anybody who played NHL. The community loves getting fucked, especially the Madden community. Um, and then AMD has revealed that AI upscaling is coming to all their gaming devices in 2024. This is good news because I think this means that games are going to look better. Wouldn't be surprised if the PS5 Pro has a dedicated AI core similar to Tensor's cores and the NVIDIA GPU. This would be a game changer. This allows DLSS to have far better image quality. -da 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 -da. They literally have got to go the opposite direction of 2K. Upscaling is said to be deployed uh, starting this year in AMD's gaming devices, which includes yet to be revealed the PlayStation 5 Pro and PlayStation 6. Uh, speaking with no prior AI, machine learning tech, and startup YouTube channels, a new interview, AMD chief of technology talked about what's next for the company regarding AI. Resubscribing. This should be enough money for TBH to cop a brick from Dr. Eggman. Yo, shout out the whiskers with the sub, saying that 2024 is a huge year for AMD as they just completed AI enabling in their pro portfolio. 2024 is also a huge deployment year for them as they are enabling their gaming devices to upscale using AI, hinting at the fact that devices available for launching this year will be able to do so. Don't be surprised, basically, if this PS5 Pro can do 8K because it'll be able to AI upscale, I guess. As the next generation consoles are launching in a few years, this statement seems to strongly hint that the yet to be revealed PlayStation 5 Pro, rumored to launch later this year, will indeed feature upscaling. Basically, games will look better. Um, it's sad because 2K can't change while there are still people who only play 2K, yeah, I guess. A live action tit Teen Titans movie is in the works. Hmm. Mm. Am I missing something? When was the Flash a part of the tight the Teen Titans? Am I missing something? Wait, which comic book is this? <laughs> that looks like Barry, not like Kid Flash. Like, <laughs> it was Wally. It was it was like a young Wally, I guess. Uh, dude, that is Wally. Okay. I always thought it was like Kid Flash. You would have a, but I guess maybe because they're going for like a more an adult one. I don't know shit about the adult um, Titans. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, the DC Heroes, it's go time for the Teen Titans. The DC Heroes, which began as a teenage sidekicks for their more famous and iconic counterparts, are getting their own live action feature from James Gunn. The comic book division of Warner Bros. Discover has tapped, um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say it right now. I'm not going to get excited for any of this shit. Until James Gunn's put out an actual good DC movie, I'm not going to get excited about any of this. The Teen Titans was first in it. Yeah, we know. We know. The book's revamped. We know. You're just yapping. The Teen Titans became, they're just yapping about the history. I've gotten really good at scamming at shit. So basically it's coming. That's all this article is saying. Madam Web is now watchable, allegedly. This is the worst shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch that this weekend, allegedly. Actually, yeah, the costume is different. Then so basically this article is it's coming. There's nothing else. Until until James Gunn puts out an actual movie, um, I, I can't say I care. He's unproven to me. Uh y'all can get excited about this shit. I won't. Don't don't. Dun, 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 dun. You didn't like the Suicide Squad? It was, it was okay. It wasn't like they, they still, in my opinion, haven't put out a definitively good movie. It's either mid or really bad. Uh, Bit Magic announced today. Oh, Bit Magic launches its text-to-game creation platform in Steam Early Access. This is pretty cool. Uh, Bit Magic announced today that it's launching its 3D games creation platform in Steam Early Access, which gives the average consumer the ability to create games or assets with text prompts. The platform is currently in a limited release with users only able to access it via BitMagic or its Discord. However, BitMagic plans the open release for May with support for web browsers and multiplayer. According to the company, its platform offers users the ability to create 3D assets by typing prompts into a text box. The BitMagic platform interprets the request then builds the assets and game around the prompts and it can be further refined after generation. I might have to download this just to try it out. This sounds interesting. So basically, Stuff like Mid Journey, or if you're broke and you try like the free um, Bing image generator, instead of in generating images, you'll be able to generate video games from text. This is interesting. I would love to just play around with this on stream and see if I can create like my own video game about like, um, call it like BBC War. Just have two BBCs jousting and shit. 
Like, I want to see, like, can you, like, make a big-ass dick and make it fight against the Hulk? Let's see if you can do that. Uh, I don't know. Would y'all play a game like this? Like, would you try it? Huh? What? The the anti-AI crowd is not going to like this. What happened? What happened? Y'all are immature. Y'all not. Y'all not. Y'all don't see the vision. Let's get off this topic. What's the name of this game? Bit Magic. We're going to keep our eye on this. Y'all Y'all not seeing the vision. What's this article right here? Fear the deer. Y'all not seeing the vision. Um, J.K. Simmons says Hugh Jackman or Ryan Reynolds should play Omni-Man in the live action Invincible. I disagree. I don't really see it in either. I don't really see it. I feel like Hugh Jackman's a little too old. And I feel like Ryan... Ryan, I, I'm not going to lie. Is this a hot take? I feel like Ryan Reynolds plays the same character in every movie. And I feel like he gets away with it because it works. Like, it works for Deadpool. But, like, I don't feel like Ryan Riddles is playing Deadpool. I feel like he's being himself. Because <laughs> go back go back and watch Green Lantern. That shit is Deadpool with a Green Lantern ring, bro. It's a common take. Okay. Yeah, I feel like he's, 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 he's a good actor if you place him in the right place. But I, I question his, um, what's the word? His, uh, his uh, versatility, my brain. I question his versatility. And I just feel like he's a little too old. I just don't see Omni. I feel like Omni-Man is a very stoic character. Yeah, Omni-Man ain't funny. I don't see this shit. Omni-Man is a very stoic character. Don't play with my body. I agree. I put Ryan Reynolds on the same level as The Rock. As an actor, I feel like I like Ryan Reynolds more than The Rock, though. I'm not going to lie. Uh, is it a hot take if it's facts? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I really haven't seen too many people talk about him in terms of an actor, right? Uh, the dude from The Witcher would be good. You talking about uh, Henry Cavill? He's already in too many. How about how? Hey, I feel like Hollywood is suffering from the same thing every other piece of media is suffering from: video games, movie. Like, how about some new actors? Like, <laughs> how about a new guy? Uh, I don't know who would play Omni Man. Uh, are, are they hinting at the fact that a live action Invincible is coming, or are they just yapping? Tom Holland. Hey, hey, if I had a mod in the chat, I'd tell him to give you a six hundred. Tom Holland. What? <laughs> Yo, that man already ruined Uncharted. What are you talking about, bro? In order to, I feel like it's important. In order to play Omni Man, you're gonna have to be a stoic man. Just because man. this nigga resubscribed doesn't mean I have to subscribe. Yo, to shout out to Taco Shark. To black on black. <laughs> and Cammy really gave you one. <laughs> On Maria's life, all niggas tripping. Shout out to Taco Shark with the sub. I feel like you got to be a real built man to play him. Uh, so I don't really see Tom Holland. I feel like he's too small. He's too small. Uh, hey, chill on my boy Tom. I'm not saying he's a bad actor. He's a good Spider Man. He plays Spider Man great. I just don't know about like if anything. If you want to pick somebody from Marvel, I would. I, what's the name of the dude who plays Thanks Thor? You've got one Yo, shout out to Cookie with the sub. Like the dude, who, the dude who plays Thor is built like Omni Man. If that makes sense. Um, the guy that played the Punisher, Henry, not Henry Cavill. Um, the one from The Walking Dead. Y'all talking about Chris Hornworth? Dude from The Walking Dead, maybe. But I feel like you got to look the part. I feel like you got to look the part too, because like he's got a very specific build. Um, you said, dear God, no, Christian Bale. No, he was already he's already Batman. Yeah, the dude from Walking Dead. Yeah, I don't know about the dude from Walking Dead. I do like him as an actor, but I don't see. I don't know who would play Omni Man. Vin Diesel. All right, next topic. <laughs> Vin Diesel. This is the family, family, family. Invincible. It's all about family. Uh, Spider Man Daily News guy. You talking about J J Jameson Jameson or whatever his name is? What the old guy? What the fuck are y'all talking about? Somebody want King Boomy as Omni Man? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, anyways, let's go to this sub box. John, John Berthanel. That's, is that how you say his name? Uh, da, 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 da. Trove, Phantom Fury official release date. What is this? Please no more John. Yeah, no, 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 John Cena. No, thank you. No, thank you. Tribes 3 early access review. We're going to go straight to that score. Children of the Sun, Chief Keef. Yeah, y'all just yapping now. Y'all are just yapping now. Next topic. Parcel Corpse official gameplay. Boom, 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 boom. I don't. I don't even want. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even want a live action Invincible right now. Can we let the show finish? Like, we got a long way to go before the show's finished. I think they could do at least probably four seasons, based off of like what I know from the comic books. Can we let the show finish first? 
before we talk about a live action movie let's let them stick that landing first i told you you ain't no keeping keeping the chat high iq four seasons in 10 years yeah shut up don't say that bro we don't need that uh shit almost a 700k on the main channel will you do a q a when it hits it nah it doesn't make any sense to do that because like one of the goals for the channel is to move away from the old audience i'm not trying to be mean but the 700k has nothing to do with it has it has something to do with the people who are in this twitch chat and the people who watch hokage highlights and the people who watch i'm just saying but as a whole that 700k don't got nothing to do yeah so like if i do that i feel like that's just tapping i'm trying to get away from that shit bro and keep it that way let's see keep scrolling i don't really see nothing interesting tara i hear it it's all good though dun, 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 dun. plus i'll be doing q a's on the stream just come through to the stream I, i'll be answering everybody's questions a lot of these games look real mid project tower pepper grinder capes outrage somebody got some good shit critter crow all right let me watch some of this shit yeah onward onward uh, let me turn the beat down Let's see phantom fury what up darfy gucci what can you tell me about the demon core I'll never forget when my question was, why are you so mean to me? It's still true. I don't even know what you're talking about. I've reached the, I've told y'all, I've reached a point in my life I, where I'm old enough. I've survived long enough where I don't remember half the shit I said. So when y'all bring it up, I'll be like, I don't know what it sounds like. Like, it sounds like I might've said that, Cammy. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All that kind of <laughs> like I seen I seen a tweet like a few weeks ago and it was like it's crazy to see that Soldier Boy survived long enough to like y'all remember y'all remember when Soldier Boy was beefing with Ice T and he was like why are you saying that you old ass nigga like like Soldier Boy has become Ice T like the way he talks about other rappers and people coming up like bro you're the old dude now like and he doesn't even realize it like that that's kind of where I'm at except for like I'm not acting like Soldier Boy which is like I survived long enough I was like I don't remember I might have said that I don't know <laughs> Another Doom clone. Although this doesn't look bad. The lighting on this. That's kind of like we done with the 90s. Yeah. Said don't make me feel old. We all getting older. It's okay. This money helps keep Shadow's black ass at bay. Yo, shout out to Black Zeus with the sub. This game actually doesn't look bad. I'm not going to play it, but it don't look bad. Who wants another Doom clone? Crotch shot. You play anything tonight? Yeah, I was trying to make up my mind if I wanted to play some Tekken and run some lobbies or Final Fantasy VII. I'm leaning more towards Tekken. Um, I hadn't been streaming because I got Dragon's Dogma, y'all. Yeah. I mean, I was dealing with some personal stuff too, like some real life shit. But then like by the time I like get home, like running errands, I was like, I don't really feel like streaming. I got Dragon's Dogma too. So like I've been playing that on the low. Don't ask me what I think. It's none of your fucking business. Uh, and I can't play the game on stream. So I can't, I couldn't stream. And I'm trying to get a video done because the, uh, the embargo is up next week. So I'm trying to, you know, get some time on the game so I can put together a video. Uh, I'm going to be on the front lines when they try to push me down with the 2000s because that's the golden era. Hey, yo, speaking of 2000s, I don't know if it's out, but I've seen a a TikTok. Justin Timberlake got a tiny desk. I seen a clip. That shit was fire. Let's see. Ba -ba -da -dee -dee -dee. Said play Fortnite. Fuck no. Yeah, it just dropped like 11 hours ago. Let me go ahead and save that. I got to watch that later. White boy was singing. Dee -dee -dee. If you want the link, here you go. It was amazing. Yeah, I love tiny desk little concerts and shit. Um, are you going to play Rise of Ronin with one of the boys, GI? Yeah, I'll probably play Rise of Ronin on the 22nd first just because I've I've already had Dragon's Dogma for like two weeks, so. But I'll play both. Uh, but I'll probably start with Rise of Ronin on stream because I hadn't played that joint. I'm going straight to the ending. Let's see what they say. That I'm limited to hosting. I've never heard of Tiny Desk. Uh, they do like um like small intimate concerts. It's like a vibe, and they interact with the ch the not the chat, but like the viewers that are there and stuff. I like them. It's really fun. Only three other players in my party when the team sizes are either seven or sixteen. This became awkward a few times when we had more than four people online together and couldn't find people to play games. 
and I can't think of a good reason for this cat. Especially Squirrel in the with a gun playlist, gameplay? you'd think they'd want to encourage communication with the whole team, not just the four allowed in the party. Which Are you on NDA? Like yeah, you're always under NDA when you get early access. Or so does it? Don't ask me. I'm not the exception tell you. to these rules are custom matches, but then you're left a bit short-handed unless you've got a whole lot of friends or are willing to subject yourself to the ups and. All right, what's the score? Absolutely nails the most essential. That's a lot of people. This iconic high-speed murder fiesta, but in its current early access state, it's also missing a whole lot that its predecessors say it ain't so. so well, from alternate game modes to vehicles. I've had a blast relearning the ropes and becoming a badass titan of the skies once more, despite weird party size limitations and the odd bug here and there, and I'm hopeful the planned ongoing development will make this a more fully featured sequel. But for now, much like controlling the jetpack powered commandos it stars, Tribes 3 is a really fun time. It's not bad, it's 7, it's not bad, it's squirrel with a gun, insane, not enough to entice me to want to play the too many damn games. Um, did I see the article that most participants in a study couldn't tell the difference between Sora AI and human video? Nah, you got the link spy? I wanna read that. Uh, squirrel with a gun. In the heart of our bustling neighborhoods, a small but remarkable creature thrives. The common squirrel. With its agile movements and inquisitive nature, this ubiquitous rodent has made its home in the urban jungle. But you should always be cautious when interacting with squirrels, as they are known to catch. Don't fuck around. Keep six feet away from squirrels at all times. Great diseases, and in some cases, oh, large shit, firearms. Hey, yo. The squirrel is known for its deadly aim and non-compliance on basic gun safety regulations. So it is advised to steer clear of an area with any reports of a squirrel. I feel like this is Goat Simulator 2024. Selecting its weapon. Yeah, I'm confused too. The squirrel adapts its sub to the ever changing one loyal fan base. Although not as loyal as any. It's got platforming in it. It looks like a streamer game. I know. I, know. I feel like this game will die in a week. Like once the allure. Of, oh, it's a squirrel with a gun. All right, guys, welcome back to part three of my playthrough of Squirrel with a Gun. <laughs> Look at me, we got a white squirrel. What if I got a Uzi? <laughs> like, why'd you get past that shit? I'm like, eh, is it a good game? Like, it was like a streamer game. Oh, look at this. This is so funny, guys. Hit the like button. With unmatched agility. Join this journey into the hidden world of the common squirrel. Coming 2024. This is like, I put this up there with like, what was that up game that was popular like a few months ago? It's like the same shit. Like, it'll be hot for three days and niggas will get right off this fucking game, bro. And, but, but then, but then I'm a dickhead because like, I'd be like, yeah, it looks funny, but like, this shit, what, it costs 40, 50, 60, 70 bucks? I'm not paying for this shit, bro. And I, and you know, you know what the funny thing is? I'm always right about these streamer games. I'm always right about them. They always die. But you, you learn how to have fun, bro. Nah, that fun is cost $70. No, thank you. And I'd be paying out my own pocket just like, I do not get most of my games for free, guys. Most of these companies do not like me. And if you don't know why, all you got to do is tune into one stream to find out. I do not play favorites, contrary to what some people think. I do not play favorites for any company. I try to be a good consumer. And a lot of people don't like that shit, bro. So, yeah, a lot of times I don't get free shit. I have to pay out my own pocket. I'm not buying that shit, bro. Uh, <laughs> if this game is based around rats in New York, it would be a hit. There's a game based off rats in New York. It's um, Plague's Tale Requiem. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Sora AI. <laughs> Sora AI videos easily confused with real footage and survey tests. Consumers in the U.S. struggle to distinguish videos recorded by humans from those generated by OpenAI's text. To so for those of you unaware, um, if you missed it, I mean, I could bring up some videos too. So OpenAI is the company behind Chatbot GPT. That's their... Um, their text-based learning model, they have a video model coming out soon. It's in beta. Only certain people have early access, privileged people like um, MKBHD, he posted some videos. And their video model is called Sora. So it's kind of like that game I was talking about earlier, the bit magic thing. You basically type a prompt in, and then like you could type in um, somebody typing at a keyboard with under the ocean, and it'll generate a video based off what you typed. And it's not the first video model to exist, but the thing is that like a lot of these video models, they're ass. 
this is the first one where people are like, all right, this is kind of scary. It's getting kind of real. Let me see if I can um, bring it up. Da -da 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 -da. Just for like context, MKB HD. What the fuck is this on my timeline? Lucy Lou will always be sexy as fuck to me. I just want y'all to know I don't follow this person. This is the For You page. I don't be looking at this shit. This is what I'm <laughs> That's the shit I be talking about, bro. You open the fucking for you page. <laughs> you said, nah, hold on, go back. <laughs> you, got, you, said, you said, hold on, she, it, it look all right, though. <laughs> but like, you fucking open the for you page. It be the weirdest shit on here, bro. I've opened the for you page. I've seen people fucking bleeding on the floor. I'm, I watch just gaming content. Like, why is this on my timeline? The Twitter algorithm is fucking ass. You sort of, uh, then you end up looking stupid and then people are like sure you know the algorithm is based off what you look at like nah i don't be looking at that shit um mkbh did i spell it right people da -da 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 -da. let's just search on google because it's not coming up buh, buh, buh. he said she was thick with it da -da -da. i wish i could find the actual video example oh here we go boom so this is these are some videos that he generated he got the beta test sora he just typed in, I guess, like a beach with like a lighthouse. Keep in mind, this video is, these videos are in 4K, but they're compressed by Twitter. So it looks better like on his computer. Stuff like this scares me just because like, it's one thing to AI generate like a cartoon character. When it AI generates like real people, I'm like, yo, who is this black person, bro? Is like, it looks like a real fucking person. They got to slow down, man. This stuff is like scary. To me, this stuff is like dangerous because then you could like, you could generate like real people doing certain things and create like fake news stories. So I think it's very important that regulations are put in place. And I've seen some articles about this. I know, I, I think it's coming to Twitter, like any video or image will be marked as created by AI. So you'll know if it's fake or not, because like in this, and this goes back to what even started this conversation, a lot of Americans and oh, why did they only test Americans? Which I'm not, I'm not surprised. Most Americans are stupid. They cannot tell the difference between this AI and real people. Appreciate the follow, you disgusting um, black creature. But 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 shout to whoever just followed. Um, so this is scary. So for those unaware, when you generate anything with AI, there's a common meta, meta tag inside of the image or the video. So like, there's a way for people to tell if it is AI generated. And I think we, you, what you're going to start to see is more websites and Twitter's announced. That I think they're going to be doing it where if it is AI generated, the, the algorithm will be able to read the metadata and it'll it'll mark it as AI, basically. I think this needs to be like a law, like a regulation. Cause like this could be very troublesome for, um, say like we're in election season, right? Who's to say that somebody doesn't generate a video of like Joe Biden um, awake and like speaking and reading a teleprompter with ease. Like somebody could type in the text prompt, Joe Biden wide awake, reading the teleprompter and not stuttering. And then they could go on 11 labs and clone his voice and then put it to the voice and make it look like a real video. That shit would be scary, bro. That shit would be scary. That shit would be scary. Um, anyways, <laughs> let's get back to this article. You're so annoying. What did I do? What did I do? I never, I'll never forget that weird hentai shit that was on the For You page. I didn't never had an anti. Um, in a survey conducted weeks after the controversial software was first revealed, most U.S. adults incorrectly guessed whether AI or a person had created five out of the eight videos that were shown. Half of the videos were the sword demonstration videos that have gone viral online, raising concerns from Hollywood to Capitol Hill for their production quality, including a drone view of waves crashing against the rugged cliffs along Big Sur's uh, Garay Point Beach and historical footage of California's gold rush. Like, this is like the scary side of stuff. Like, I feel like people focus a little too much on that. On, on the more positive side of things, I think Sora will be very good for content creators. Like, let's say you run a channel where you mostly do commentary and you have a lot of B-roll. Now you'll be able to generate B-roll specifically what you're talking about versus going on a website and looking for a frustrated curly haired woman or something like that. You can literally just type it in frustrated curly haired woman screaming out the window with xyz in the backdrop it'll be good for music videos it, there's positives to take away from this uh but i do think they need to i don't think we should be like oh the terminator but we do need to regulate it i think people need to know whether or not it's ai because people there's always going to be some nefarious people 
uh, online looking to do stuff with it. Uh, you said on an election year. Yeah, this shit. I, I'm not going to lie. I do feel like it's kind of irresponsible to put this shit out like right now. Like you guys couldn't wait until after the U.S. election to drop this shit. Who's to say is people won't be doing some dubious shit. You need a hug, dude. All up on my bumper, bro. Oh. Oh. What y'all think, though? AI B-roll would go crazy? It would. It would save a lot of time editing. You literally could just cut the audio up and then type in everything you need. And depending on how fast stuff generates, it would, it would, it would be very useful for people who do commentary stuff. You're okay, dude. You're basking. You're very handsome. You're very handsome. If you weren't neutered, you'd get all the bad bitches in the neighborhood. Yep. <laughs> Um, did it, did it, TBH, you seen the figure one AI video? Nah, what's that? It's gotta, it's gotta fuck over someone white and famous before they regulate it like Taylor Swift. Yeah, well, no, they're already talking about regulating it. Um, oh, these are the actual results. So like basically 50% of people on average couldn't tell the difference between what's real and what's not. Usually it's like the hands and the eyes that are a giveaway if it's AI. What is this shit? Figure status update, open AI speech to reason. What is this? Who playing on my phone? Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? Oh, I did see, I see this. A red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Detroit become human. So basically what's going on in this, I seen this. They're producing androids and basically they equip this android with open AI. So basically this android has, it's being powered by chat by GPT and it's able to interpret it, things, bro. You ain't got a Glock, man. Hey, you better go. Sure so thing. they're making Skynet. Great. Can you explain what? Look how long it took for him to process getting that apple, though. We're still far away from, like, I could have just went to the fridge and grabbed an apple. This is, we're still far away from the, the, the Jetsons, basically, the robot helping and shit. Like, I, you did what you this did isn't did practical. While you this is just a distracted. demonstration. On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Who want one, chat? Who want one? Great. So, based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? Is there a sink? See, right? That's that's a prime example right there. This is not even practical. This is this is nowhere near commercial use. It took way too long. That shit was on AOL internet the way it loaded that damn answer. Dishes and these the are basic questions. Like that plate and cup are likely to go into the drying rack next. I'd say within two years we'll have functional AI bots. I say five. And even and even if it is, it's gonna be so expensive. You and I aren't gonna be able to afford it. Only the one what Bernie Sanders say, the one percent of the one percent of the one percent of the one percent are gonna be able to afford that shit and they're gonna be flexing. You're gonna see the one percent flex in these AI bots and Instagram and like TikTok influence. If TikTok is still here, it might get banned. In influencers who are living paycheck to paycheck, they're gonna buy it just to say they got one. Look, like, guys, look, I got somebody helping me out. My fucking Android drinks me off at night. Great. Can you put? No, I haven't seen Pluto. Of course. Wow. Ten years it'll be perfected. Yeah, I feel like ten years is like the realistic timeline. Cause one thing I will say, keep in mind, like that videos we just looked at the Sora AI stuff. This is the worst it'll ever be. We have to keep that in mind. And I, that's what makes it scary. This is Chatbot GPT had just came out like around like COVID, telling COVID. And that shit was just kind of like okay. It's gotten significantly better. And now I don't know if y'all noticed, um, now you have Twitter's Grok. He's talking about making it open AI. So then like what that means, open uh, API. So what that means, open source, my bad. What that means is more people will be able to work on it, maybe create plugins for it. So that's going to get significantly better quicker. Um, I don't know if y'all noticed in your Instagram DMs, there's now an AI bot. They have um, meta AI and you like click a button on the top on your Instagram. It, it's actually pretty good. If you need information, it's, co it's connected to Bing. So it, it can do things that chatbot can't do. It'll give you like um, fresh up to date info. It ain't going nowhere, man. All right, so how do you think you did? 
He seems AI generated. He doesn't seem like a real person. He's like an Android. I, I think I did pretty well. The Apple found its new owner. The trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, Figure One. I say, if they're gonna make these things, man, I know it won't happen, but why make them metal? You know, why can't we make make them like a sturdy plastic? <laughs> That way, that way, just in case, because this shit is inevitable, just in case the automatons from fucking Hell Divers 2, Terminator 2, like that shit becomes real. If it's just a sturdy plastic, bah, bah, bah. but if we start giving these niggas fucking vibranium, we're doomed. They start putting fucking hard ass metal on these bitches, we're doomed, bro. I don't care if the shit look goofy. Like, why are we giving them quality materials? You're welcome. If there's anything else, yeah, I robot with Will, Will Smith. Yeah, silicone or something. Yeah, just in case we got to sh shoot the fair one. He will upgrade himself like Ultron. Fully learned, fast, dexterous, manipulation. The NYC rats will save us? What are you talking about? I don't want my bullets to bounce off these tin cans. I know, right? Open AI. Shit's getting spooky. I got to pee. BRB. Tired of talking about the scary ass shit. Do it to him. I think the good thing though is I feel like this AI robot shit will be protect I think it'll be perfected, but I think at the earliest it won't be perfected until like I'm on my deathbed, you know? Like 2050 or some shit like that. Then I'll have to watch the world burn. I don't care. <laughs> Saudi Arabia's first male robot. First clip from the live action Fallout series. Can I post it? Nah, I'd rather just watch the show. Oh, I seen this. He was like grabbing her ass and shit. Like, what the fuck? Why would you post that? Like, that is not a good representation. Let's get back to these games. Welcome to Critter Grove. A town that's seen better days. We in the hood. Kind of funny. This is the second kind of funny trailer I've seen. Did they have some type of game showcase? <laughs> <laughs> wind clunker it's like wind waker but for, for brokies wind clunker they did ah okay that's cool hey guys we got another cozy game for you what are you doing what are you doing i'm good off this game let's see outrage oh so these are all the games from the kind of funny Back shots through a wall is crazy. Are these double A games? Yeah, I would say these are like indie double A type games. Sixteen player. Wait, what? To follow you, disgusting black creature. Sixteen player beat him up. That sounds chaotic. This kind of looks kind of good. Like with this camera angle, like how do you see all 16 people playing together? Speaking of kind of funny, y'all ever think y'all could get Blessing Adoyo in the podcast? His names came up before. I don't know him, but I mean, one day, who knows? 
get even. Game Pass? Is it coming to Game Pass? Nah, wishlist on Steam. It's full price game. Capes. Where's the music? Superhero turn-based tactics. What is this trailer? What up, Noor? Stay down. I'm good off this. That was a bad it's first impression. That was a little. That was a little full sale. Pepper Grinder. Developed by RH with support from MP2 Games and music by ZC. This moment is a little over halfway through the game. ITT Tech exclusive. Off topic, why haven't we gotten another Sly Cooper? I know, right? The last game ended on a fucking cliffhanger. I'm mad that we haven't gotten one. Project Tower. Welcome to Project Tower. Imagine a world where Earth why is it so low? By the Hicks, an alien species. In this chaos, every single human is made prisoner in towers. Each of its floors simulates different environments. The only hope to get your freedom back relies on our main feature. The they love remaking games we don't want. Oh, is that an alien flower pussy? We don't want to spoil you too much, so we'll stop here for the story. Oh, I promise you, we weren't that excited. I see DC exclusive. Farah, the Sunder Tribes. Okay, what's this? Hi, we're Massive Damage Games, and we're excited to show you some new footage from our upcoming game, Farah, the Sunder Tribes. This looks fun. Farah is a monster hunting action RPG with oh, a focus on aerial traversal and combat set in a gorgeous open world full of gigantic behemoths and ancient secrets. Deep so colony sim games. management is this and multiplayer? building mechanics form the basis for our unique spin on this genre. Tears of the Spider-Man, chill. <laughs> for the art direction Whee! in Ferra, we adapted the latest Unreal Engine features like Lumen and Nanite to create a visual style that would be a contrast to the barrage of gritty... That's not full sale. They got Lumen and Nanite. ...games coming to market. Whatever we that means. ...influences from the East and West to create something otherworldly, ancient, Mysterious and yet familiar and strikingly beautiful. <laughs> it was only natural to incorporate our super fun gliding and swinging traversal mechanics to create an area based shit. combat system that gives players a lot of ways to approach taking down the massive behemoths in Ferra. Our monsters aren't just colossal either, they can wield elemental forces in bullet hell barrages, challenging you to dodge, weave, and strike with precision. Hmm. Traversal looks fun, but it does not really control to build well. your village in I feel like the frame rate's dropping a little bit too. Will require you to I mean, once again, is this co-op? I feel like this game would really benefit from being co-op. Manage your village's hunger, morale, and production systems. Power world with no pals. Where are my pals at? monsters requires building specialized harvesting stations to process the monster remains in order to- Yeah, I will say there's potential here. And rare components I'm not trying village. to build shit though. We hope you enjoyed this short developer preview of Ferra, the Sundered Tribes. It will be launching in early access this summer. The Sundered Tribes. That one looked okay. That one looked that that didn't look uh like full cell or ITT tech. That like full cell graduate maybe. But not bad, not bad. Robots at midnight. What is this? What did Joe can we bro? Why would you do a trailer with no voice acting? You are not Zelda. What am I looking at? It looks interesting. I'm getting Breath of the Wild vibes. Robots at midnight. Like instead of Breath of the Wild, this is like Breath of the Angst Teenager. I wish it had voice acting though. Not doesn't look bad. Parcel corpse.
delivering packages is pretty intense. Flexibility when they work. The Ed Wallaby Wheelers, our freelance, self-employed entrepreneurs, enjoy the ability to decide when and for how long they work every day. Uber delivery. If a freelancer operating under a service contract agreement with us decides they can afford not to work Spot an old PSP, I'm a mod. I wish I'm I still had mine. I got my Vita. They don't need to get paid. I know that can be modded really well. well. I say, good on you, mate. I'm happy for you. I'll just find some other bludger who isn't afraid of a little hard graft. You crack on. What do I care? All right, where's the gameplay? You guys Ditch are trying the to, to five and embrace the high octane life of a freelance bicycle messenger in Parcel Core. Squeeze into your spandex and skid through the streets, competing for one of three rival. Vita can run Switch games better than Switch. Are you joking? Or is that real? Courier corporations in all no way. trying to become the biggest, most profitable business in town. Grind on rails, ride along walls, leap from rooftops. I'm getting um, Jet Set Radio vibes a little bit. Find the quickest routes through town to give you the competitive edge. But be warned, this humble existence is never far from being... <laughs> Yo, chill. EA would have made this a lot. EA would have ruined it. You'll be able to ruin it. Pulled under the leather heel. Real low key, that's crazy. In fact, with dark this game looks all right. The maniacal plan threatening all that is sacrosanct, it will be up to you and your fellow bicycle messengers. I feel like I'd have more fun playing this game just riding around freestyling and doing tricks than actually doing the missions. Save the world. And bring me my edamame salad. I have been waiting. One of those games you just 20 ride around, turn your brain off, and just flip and dip all over the goddamn place. I like diet though. Children's of the Sun. This is Children of the Sun, a puzzler shooter by Berlin developer Rene Rod. Devolver Digital. Okay, it might be good. Devolver Digital drops. In each heat. mission, it is your objective to kill multiple cultists with a single bullet. This level is near the game's halfway point and your character has just unlocked the ability to accelerate their bullet in order to pierce body armor. Whoa. At the beginning of each level, you will need to conduct reconnaissance, inspect the territory, and locate your enemies. Come you on, can also mark play. your Very targets to help you play. keep track of where you want your bullet to go. What a wild targets words. Targets can be enemies. You have the opportunity to redirect your bullet. Wanted the video game? armored enemy requires firing from a great distance and accelerating the bullet as much as possible before it reaches its target. Redirecting the bullet mid flight is one. Yo, of this is like <laughs> this is like Frogger meets Wanted. What the fuck is unlocked and is a staple of gameplay. Or no, Sniper Elite meets Frogger. Shooting a car's gas cap will detonate the car, killing all nearby. I'm good off this. I'm good off this. We watched that already. Frogger Elite. Were there any other trailers? There's a new G.I. Joe game? What's this? What's this? What's this? God damn, they showed a lot of games at this event that they had today. Home of the Yokai. Uh, I don't know what da, 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 da. Jay and Silent Bob got a game? Power World Official Raid? Oh, Power World got new content? Signal the Ecosystem? I love Sniper Elite. I, I feel like Sniper Elite is an underrated... Because we were talking about AA games, right? Sniper Elite is a good AA game. That's that's like a great example of a AA game where like it's not quite AAA, but it is really good still for if you take it for what it is. I want to see what this Power World content... Is Power World back, Chuck? What the fuck happened to the music? Oh. Frame rate dropping. Yeah, it's got fun co-op in it too. New pal and raid battle, Bellinor. Coming soon. What does a Power World raid look like? I wish they would have showed some gameplay. Uh, where's the update for not falling through the ground? <laughs> oh, shit. You would smash, bro. She's like a, a flower. What the fuck? The signal? Let's see what this is. Pre-alpha gameplay the footage. Signal is an open world survival crafting game where you play as an explorer in search of a new home. Yep. Lost interest. Open world survival crafting game. Boo. What is this? Wild Bastards gameplay? You just link me a you just link me this Saudi Arabian robot again. 
Let's see, Jay and Silent Bob, Chronic Blunt Punch. What? Do the kids know who Jay and Silent Bob is? Animation looks cool. Where's the gameplay? That's what we do. Okay, side scrolling beat em up. I don't think they do. Looks alright. Not really in the market for a beat em up, but goddamn, her titties is going crazy. Y'all see that shit? <laughs> What's the name? Not really in the market for a side scrolling beat em up, but it looks all right. Three days ago, Wild Bastards reveal trailer. I was in the cold ground before the rest of them wild bastards yanked me from the dirt. Crispy. Let's ride, partner. Interesting art style. I like it. Bookaboom, I hear to say. How is it that a cloud of vapors can be dead and buried in the first place? I may not have a body of classic. Yeah, it looks really unique. But Chase still found a way to put a <laughs> side scroll and beat him up to so the right age for Jay and Silent Bob fans. That's funny. You're not wrong. Why you boot me, dude? You okay? Friend. Oh, the now old kaboom is back. Chase ain't got much like him. Got the Mario map. Yes, well, I'm my peculiar. My turn. I wonder how long it took for them to do this art style. This is crazy. They don't fancy our sword anywhere around these parts. You got no hope, freak! <laughs> This'll all be over soon, though. Seeing as we're making our way to the homestead. If we can get there. Reckon we'll do all right, though. <laughs> After all. Wee's the, the same devs that made Space Bastards. I've never played or heard of that game. This is one of the games, like, if there's nothing to play, I try this. This looks pretty fun. I really like the art style. Wishlist now. What's the consensus on this? It looks so cool. I need the release date. Honestly, this caught my eye. I love the art style. I think this actually looks really cool. People seem to like it. Is it only on PS5? Nah, it says wishless. Oh no. Um, hmm. Let's see. Wild bastards. Actually, let me. I don't know what's gonna come up on Google when I search that. <laughs> uh, it's on Steam. Nah, it's a multiplat. It was just on the PlayStation channel. It's on Steam. That's why I said wishless. Now I've never heard of PlayStation PlayStation fans wishlisting a game. Is that a thing? Was the, was the wanted game any good? I didn't. I wasn't talking about the game. I was talking about the movie. Did I say game? I never. I didn't know there was a game. I was talking about the movie. Yeah, you can wish it if you want the link here. It's in the chat. In the chat. Uh, Trans Transvania Adventure of Simon Quest. Nope, nigga. Uh, Home of the Yokai. Yokai is. Japanese for ghost, right? I think. Yeah, something like that. Something, something, something like that. You heard anything about South Park Snow Day? Nah, I'm not checking for that game. It's a tower defense game. This event was today? Yeah, it was. I don't watch kind of funny games, so I didn't know they were having an event. Yeah, I'm good off this. It's looking a little junior. Uh, Nano Apostle official gameplay. Welcome to this gameplay overview of Nano Apostle. Appreciate it. Let them know. Today we'll be showcasing our first. This looks alright. The axe welding berserker. It's like a 2D Dark Souls. Thanks for Shout to Shulker. This the be berserker money utilizes its immense size and speed to overwhelm Shout to Shulker Dev with the sub. Appreciate it. Firing the nanites at the top <sighs> will cause them to swarm, allowing Anita to regain some health by dealing AI with voice, is it? Every boss in Nano Apostle has a fail-safe second stage that becomes deadlier and more Yeah, this, this is AI, uh, AI Dark Souls. Each one has two waves. To combat this onslaught, use the nanites to deflect and parry enemy attacks. How y'all feel about this? 
I think this. I'm not gonna play it, but it looks cool. I can see why somebody's interested in this game. This shit only has 600 views. God damn, looks cool. I can see why somebody would be interested in that. Uh, Critical Path. Hello, so my name is Jeremy Boisson. And I'm the game director behind the project Critical Path at Old School Games. This is a Ubisoft game? a dynamic and fast-paced roguelike game in which you play as the architect, a powerful entity that gets trapped into the a prison entity. of their own creation called the Axiom. Your ultimate goal is to get back its control by defeating the doppelganger. Yeah, he's definitely recorded this through a fucking Astro, Astro 840. A dark copy of your character <laughs> that transmogrified all your prisoners into fierce enemies and traps. In order... Let me get off this. Let me get off of that. G.I. Joe, Wrath of Cobra, official gameplay review. Yo, what is with all these side-scrolling Yo, is there a market for side scroll? I just feel like that's a genre. If you're not the Ninja Turtles, I don't care. <laughs> and even still, if it's a Ninja Turtle game, it's gotta be like once every five to 10 years. That's why I played the last one. You can't put out a Ninja Turtle side-scroller every year, but other than that, I don't know. There's a market for it. I got you. Yeah, old heads. Uh, yeah, I, it doesn't do much for me. I, my issue with it is like there hasn't been a, a side scroller that's really innovated. They've all been the same since the 90s. So it's like they're fun every once in a while, but I, I couldn't see myself constantly playing them. Uh, Ingression. Coming exclusively to Newgrounds.com. Mini clip six months later. An amazing games.net ingression. You play a purple hair Twitch streamer making their way platforming through a world with all odds against them. Exclusively on miniclip.com. Just know this is a mini clip premium. Five dollars a month. <laughs> yeah, cool math. Uh Smurf Village Party. Yo, what the fuck is this shit, bro? Are you kidding Product me? Product not yet rated. The Smurfs Village Party. Oh, it's a mini game. This is a Smurfs um, Mario Party. Smurfs Mario Party. Who's ready to play with the blue people? Like, do the kids like Smurfs? I feel like kids don't know who Smurfs are. Mario Party Smurf, let's go. What's the what's the consensus on PS4? Huh. Seeing as how Nintendo has forgotten the Mario Party franchise series, I'm definitely buying this. Somebody wants it. I'm absolutely loving this recent resurgence of party games. Okay, okay. People like it. People like it. I stand corrected. Somebody got to get it for their PS4. Might blow up the house, but somebody got to get it, bro. Is that all we got? Um, let's see. Hollywood's trying to push the old relic. Top five games on Game Pass for the Lenovo Legion. Mm. Sonic and Angry Birds, the crossover event of the year. There's a crossover? Uh, bro, bro saw a PS4 and said, uh, yeah, uh, uh, what is that, brother? Uh, uh, first look at channel booster effect for Final Cut Pro. What the fuck is this shit? Official legacy, new JG video in the sub box. Make sure to leave a dislike. PJ Masks. Doo, 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 doo. Franklin. They're making a TV show about Franklin. $100 bill, Franklin. PSVR multiplayer trailer. Warzone Mobile official launch. Let me see the gameplay for this shit, man. Got hella trailers. Hella new Nomad. <laughs> this man's face on this thumbnail. Uh, let's see. Bad Batch, X Men '97, official fighting the Sentinels. I want to watch the show. I don't want to watch no fucking trailers for that shit. Look at Ubisoft, Far Cry official 20th anniversary. These niggas is Voss, Voss. You guys remember Voss? Voss. Let me tell you the definition of fucking insanity. <laughs> Yo, I think it's funny. The 20th anniversary for Far Cry trailer is right next to Arlo's. Ubisoft is a sinking ship. I gotta watch that later. That's fucking funny. Angry Birds official trailer. What, what, what Arlo? Arlo slandering Ubisoft? This man don't really be slandering people like that. Fallout 76, official season 16? Was that a homeless video? Yeah, you got to dislike that shit too. Rise of Ronin official launch trailer? Damn, I missed a lot of trailers. Star Wars Outlaw official deal. There's a Star Wars Outlaws trailer? What the fuck? Rebel Transmute. 
Fuck Vlad TV. God damn, what's your beef with him? Gigantic Rampage official. They got new maps in Gigantic. It's back with new content. The Ducks Paradox. Black. There's a new Black Myth Wukong trailer. How did I miss all that? Yeah, I really have not been in the sunbox the past few days. Like, what the fuck? Uh, what is this? Ronan, you're banned from posting. Yo, did you forget? You got banned at the beginning of the stream. You're banned from posting links, dude. Uh, all right. Black Myth Wukong official ray tracing. This man forgot. Itching. That man itching to drop a goddamn link. Let's see what this shit look like. Hold on. Let me make sure that is it, it's on 4K. Okay. In the world of Black Myth Wukong, Cisco's here to sing that thong. Is this just a, a look at the landscape? That's cool. It is. What the fuck? Bro, what a gameplay. Thanks for subscribing. Now TBH broke ass can afford rent. Yo, shout out to Megas Reborn with the sub. Yeah, we're good off this. What a disappointing trailer. I don't care about that. Um. Thanks for subscribing. No, thank now TBH broke ass can afford rent. Yo, shout out to Dr. Uh, Reiko. Dr. Mr. Reiko with the sub. Let's see. Gigantic new content. Yeah, there's no reason for me to even look at that trailer. I'm going to play it on Xbox. It ain't going to run on my PC. New maps. Is anybody genuinely excited Gigantic is back? What's the pulse on this? And who did they who did they strong arm to get it back? I find it funny that they announced this game is coming back like a couple weeks after I had dropped my trailer. No, I had dropped a, the video of me playing Gigantic and making fun of New Yorkers like in February and like a few weeks later they they said Gigantic's back. There were people in the comments like, yo, was that gigantic gameplay? I missed that game, bro. I think it inspired them to come back. The fuck is gigantic? It was a MOBA, very niche. And then when the MOBA market was, was crowded. Heaven Sword. Y'all like this? New maps? I wish they would show some gameplay on these maps. I don't care what these maps look like. Is that a MOBA pass? It's an action MOBA, no, not like a traditional one. So it's a lot more fast paced. It was okay. It just never really found its audience because like I feel like at that time the MOBA market was really saturated. You had League, you had this game, you had that. You remember that DC? What was that DC MOBA called? Yeah, the DC MOBA. Who remembers Strife? That shit never made it out of beta. Strife. Um, Dota 2. So an action mobile like Paragon? Yeah, it's closer to Paragon, but even more faster paced. You had mobile MOBAs, yeah. You had a bunch of league knockoffs on MOBA. Yeah, Smite. It was just too much competition, I think, and it got lost in the shuffle. Which is a shame, because it was a unique MOBA compared to the rest. But, you know, one person set to trend, and everybody follows it. And unfortunately, there's not enough. I don't care what nobody says. One of the biggest lies people, like, Vanglory. I remember that, Vanglory. That was before... Um, League of Legends Mobile came out. One of the biggest lies people tell is there's enough for everybody to eat. That's not true. A pie only has a certain number of slices in it. Everybody cannot eat. So sometimes you're better off just baking your own pie. Uh, and the unfortunate thing with this is like it was all the pie had been taken by the time they had arrived in the market. There was order and chaos. I don't know what the fuck that is. That sounds like a Trump phrase. Rebel. I am the law and order candidate. Rebel transmit. Gameplay? I see DC College. Said, so, damn, I got some good ass quotes. I appreciate it. Star Wars DLS. Game looks good. When's it coming out? <laughs> Bad bitch gonna ride a bike. Bad bitch gonna ride it all night. I honestly forgot this game. I honestly forgot this game was. Just followed you, just like how my loser ass follows Sonic everywhere. I forgot this game was coming out. Uh, but that is one game I'm looking for.